Thank you. Some of the equipment they have here is absolutely huge. Well, do I look good in here? Yeah, look, they even got a little dump seat for me. Oh. Check out this view you got inside this shop. Set up. Huge TV screen inside. Parked through these normal size tractors I typically have. They look like little tinker toys. Those are the size tractors I typically run. This thing is a monster. You got that right. See, something like this is more our size range. Now this is more comfortable and more what I'm used to compared to that, that giant tractor over there. This thing's normal. It's a huge view. Got a sunroof and everything. The view in this thing is amazing. This is a huge step up from my Case 430. The view is awesome. What do you think? This is a little bit better suited, isn't it? What's the matter? This is a little bit better uh, better suiting for me, don't you think? I don't know. The Magnum is pretty cool. Yeah, they're all pretty cool. But let's keep carrying on, looking at more stuff. I've only ever sat in these in Farming Simulator. It's got a huge ladder to climb up in this thing. Oh my, wow. This cab has got more room in it than my bathroom. This is huge. got a nice leather red leather interior it's got carpet floor mats this is something I drive with my shoes off this is, looks like it's super comfortable implements are ginormous it's like when I'm looking at this eye levels like just where the deck starts huge huge implements let's check out this little baby loader this thing's actually pretty sweet case 21f Something like this is pretty unique. Let's see some old glass 
classics. You gotta check out. Look at these. Old John Deere's, old farm malls. This thing's pretty cool. This is a lot like George's tractor from Full Creek Farms. I have Tim go pick that up. That's going to be in next week's video. Somebody made a little baby Ford 8 on hot rod. Is that something unique? Cute Farm LA, great shape. If you're logging up here in the Northeast, a nice winch like this would be perfect for behind your tractor going out in the woods. It's not too big, not too small. Got a lot of cool stuff in a place like this. Cool implements. This would be the setup to have right here. You have a hay accumulator and a hay grapple. These are designed for small square bales. It'll pick up eight to 12 small square bales in a bundle and wrap them so you don't have to handle small squares. Massey Ferguson's got a big booth in this building as well. A lot of tractors, big and small. size right here. We got trailers here and side by sides, four wheelers. Kawasaki booth right here. Let me get on this carpet for him. Got some cool stuff. We came here towards the tail end of the show. They're packing everything up and leaving for today, so there's not much time left for us to check things out. It was a great experience. Let's check out this open operator station, my uh, Matsy Ferguson, right here. Pretty cool deal. Great big view. There's your controls down there in the bottom. They even got chrome balers and chrome mowers here. Big Massey Ferguson set up right there in the video. That's a tractor that's there doing it. Huge setup. It's that tractor and this trailer's got a huge multi disc mower setup. Tires are almost as tall as I am, and it's on a trailer. This 
This manure spreader's got a three-point hitch on the back. I've never seen anything like that. They've got five buildings for this show, and they have so much equipment they can't even fit it all inside. A lot to go through. We've only gone through three buildings today. There's just so much to look at, and they're already packing up shop, so we're not going to be able to see it all. I thought this thing was astonishing. It's, it's humongous, huge, ginormous. Words cannot describe how big this thing is. I'll put my hand up to the tracks to show you how big they are. Put that in perspective. My hand compared to all these tracks. Giant. Perfecta would be perfect to grow corn behind my case 430. We're packing up shop already. Get out of their way. Large square baler. I think this tractor right here is the same tractor that Adam from Hometown Acres runs. He just got an LS tractor just like this one. A cab with heat and air conditioning. It was quite an upgrade from his Coyote tractor in terms of size and comfort and everything having that cab. Mahindra tractors here today too. Ventrax. tractors here for Kubota too. Not as big as that Steiger, but wow. I've ran an SVL 65 before. Those things are really smooth machines. I rented one for a couple days. Very comfortable with the operating machine. Nice L6040. Nice comfortable size with a rototiller. RTV, I think, is the most rugged RTV or UTV out there on the market. This one's got the extended bed on it. Yeah, 
I got stuff here for every farmer. Land pride cedar this size would be perfect for a hay operation like our size. Fit that comfortably behind our tractor and revitalize our hay fields. Especially with that Perfecto cultivator I showed you earlier. Everything's so shiny here. Black Beauty, Massey Ferguson. If you know me, you should know that I love black equipment. All my trucks are black. Nice HLA snow pusher. Wallenstein equipment, I do have a Wallenstein log splitter. Let's check out this thing. Steam chippers, log splitters. That's a unique design for a, I guess, like a Toro Dingo style skid loader.